Well, the last two weeks have been absolutely amazing. It's been a very powerful experience. And the fact that it's been a 50th year celebration, not only for the orchestra, but for me, I mean, that is a really very special thing. The Philadelphia Orchestra has returned to the China Welfare Institute Children's Palace in Shanghai 50 years after its first visit in 1973. <laughs> We truly um, talk a lot and use words about the power of music to express emotions, feelings that words cannot, and to receive the gift from you all today of music as well as the gift of art. The gift is, is truly um, deeply touching to us, so thank you. This is actually a part of the entire celebration. Established in 1900, the Philadelphia Orchestra is now 123 years old. The orchestra first visited China in September 1973, marking a thaw in cultural exchanges between China and the United States. The same year, diplomatic ties began to normalize, sped up by U.S. President Richard Nixon's ice-breaking trip to China. It was the first tour to the People's Republic of China made by an American orchestra. Since then, the orchestra has visited China 13 times, including this trip. David Booth, a 73-year-old violinist with the Philadelphia Orchestra, was part of the 1973 tour and every China visit since then. It was very, very different. I mean, coming into Beijing, there was a lot of farmlands. Shanghai here was not built up at all like this. There was a lot of farmlands there, too. When we came back then, about 20 years later, it was a vast change, and then from there it's been pretty much this constant development. In 1993, the orchestra returned to Beijing, becoming the first Western Symphony Orchestra to perform at the Great Hall of the People. In 2008, it put on shows in China to raise money for Sichuan Province after a powerful earthquake killed tens of thousands of people. Then the musicians were back to put on a free performance during the 2010 Shanghai World Expo. It was the first American cultural group to confirm its participation. But one of the big things, we were just talking about this, one of the things that has made the city so beautiful is what they've done with lighting. That is really spectacular. And it does feel like at this moment in time, our visit symbolized the doors opening up, not just for cultural exchange, but exchange, period. Exchange in many, many areas. And we're, we are very optimistic that's what's going to happen. The people here are incredible, and I just hope that we continue to exchange culture, friendships, partnerships. That should always continue. In the Shanghai if the music has helped a little bit, I am only too happy. That's one of the things that I hope for most. The orchestra arrived on November 7th. 14 of its musicians have traveled to Beijing, Tianjin, Suzhou, and Shanghai. They left on Sunday, November 19th, and said they may return again next year. Uh -huh.